Hey guys, Super Gadget Guy here. Um, today I'll be upgrading the hard drive with this first generation MacBook Pro. Uh, on top has the in case um, protective case here. Um, I'm having trouble taking it off, so I'm just going to leave it on. And this is a non unibody MacBook Pro, 15 inch, with a core dual processor. So this is like first generation. I got it when it first came out. It came with a 100 gig hard drive, um, but right now the hard drive is giving me a lot of trouble lately with the corrupted files and sectors. So I'm going to use the hard drive replacement guy from ifixit.com to replace the hard drive that came with it with the brand new 500 gig Scorpio Blue Western Digital hard drive that I purchased. I also have an unboxing video of this hard drive and now I am going to replace it. Um, first time doing this, uh, never done it before. One important thing with upgrading a um, laptop such as the MacBook Pro is that make sure you have good quality tools that requires a T6 Torx screwdriver. I bought the kit from Home Depot or whatever so that make sure you spend you know money on some quality tools because the difference is that these are precision made so they will have less chance to strip your screws. If you buy those cheap ones, more likely than not, it doesn't really fit perfectly and you will strip it. First step uh, is remove the battery, as always, so you can see the battery is fully charged. I do not want that to happen to your computer. Of course, the computer is already shut down. Jeez, so, oops. So remove the memory door screws. One, two, three. So let's do that. Here comes the memory door. Do that. Okay, let's go through step two. Step three, lift the memory door. All right. Remove the two Phillips screws to the battery compartment near the latch. Works. Two right here and four Phillips around the hinge. So let's do the Phillips first. Phillips screw on the port side of the computer. That's the one with the HDMI port side. Okay, should have got another set of these so I don't have to keep switching. That's on this side right here. So there are one, two, three, four. Make sure not, that's not it, that's just a screw hole for the uh, DVI cable. Two Phillips screws to the rear of the computer. Of course, before you proceed with the um, hard drive upgrade, make sure you back up all the existing data. Even though you can keep the original one, but just in case. Because you know, sometimes the data can be more costly and expensive than a computer, so.
cable. Disconnect the trackpad keyboard ribbon cable. Oh, it's just rest on it. Okay. I don't know if you can see, it's just a little disconnector that connects to the motherboard. You can see that it just rests on it. Use the tape to secure it against the motherboard and just lift it uh, without bending it too much. I guess I'm bending there two screws here um, to secure the hard drive to the actual case. So you have to be careful not to break the, either the infrared sensor ribbon and the Bluetooth module that's right up the front. Okay. Let's see what we do with it. Here we go. Mouse comes off. Yeah, I'm just this one. The new 17 inch unibody might be a few seconds in, but you just have to make sure it works with your computer. Connected the ribbon, but now I slide it off the drive. I think that's going to give me the extra scoops I need. Let's try. Okay, make sure you do slide out the Bluetooth board. Okay. Okay, I'll win it. Okay, everything's back together. I'm here to smoke this. Inserting the battery, and hopefully it's not going to smoke. Because my quote is still two months away, and I don't want to find any Mac right now. Battery's still pretty charged. I have to smell this right there. Okay. Yeah. Taking the disc. Running the disc and do a first boot. Right there, it says 500.11 gigabyte WDC Western Digital Hard Drive. Once it's properly formatted, I can install Snow Leopard. And hopefully, all the errors will go away. Alright, thanks for watching, guys. Um, if you like this video, please rate and subscribe. You can see my other Mac in the background. And so far, this installation has been great, except for the ribbons and the um, Bluetooth module. You have to remove it from the side of the slot in order to properly mount the uh, hard drive into it. That's the only thing that's kind of not explained it at the um, iFixit website. But other than that, it's a pretty easy installation overall. Alright guys, thanks for watching. Bye.